Hey guys, Jen Delaney, also known as Freedom of Feathers, and today we're going to talk about shooting your bow and how to aim. But before we dive into that, um, I wanted to address one quick thing. So I try to keep up with all the feedback and comments that I get on all my videos I post, and I've been seeing something a little bit intriguing um, in terms of what I do not being traditional archery. So I wanted to make sure we were all aligned and uh, make this crystal clear. Traditional archery at its core is shooting a recurved bow or a long bow with no sights or no sighting you know, equipment to help the archer aim. That is traditional archery at its core. The archer and the bow working harmoniously to shoot a target. Even though I might be throwing a can up in the air or a, a colored balloon, balloon filled with color, it's still traditional archery. Um, so just wanted to kind of throw that out there and make sure, you know, clear the air if you will, because I was just looking at those comments and I was like, so anyway, with that, let's dive into how to shoot your bow and how to aim. First, your stance. So common practice is to have your feet shoulder width apart and for ladies, pointing your foot slightly towards the target. That said, for me, I have found it more helpful to have my feet a little bit more apart, maybe about an inch on each side, just because I feel like it gives me more of a solid base and I can become more mobile if I need to. So if I'm shooting a moving target or something where maybe I just distance wise, I feel like it's more solid. Second, how you grip your bow. So this is important. It's not a full grip. You're not gonna be grabbing your bow like this. You're literally gonna be gently placing kind of your between your thumb and finger, me, thumb and finger, and it's gonna be a push-pull relationship. So if you can see it this way, these three fingers are literally just kind of just guiding to the side there. So I'll push and as my shoulders rotate, it's just gonna be a gentle. And for me, the most important outcome, if you don't, if you grip your bow aggressively versus gently, you're gonna see your arrow not consistent. It might jerk to the left or the right. It's just not gonna be an accurate way of shooting. So now that you have an idea on stance and how to hold your bow, the next part is drawing back and releasing all critical elements when it comes to aiming your arrow and hitting your target. When you draw back, you want your shoulder to be up, elbow to be up, not down, not like, it needs to be up. Um, and when you draw back to what I found very helpful is I squeeze my shoulders together and kind of try to relax them at the same time. I feel like it gives the arrow good tension. Um, and there are some studies that show that it helps with accuracy, you know, others that say it doesn't matter. So I would advise to practice, see what works for you. Releasing, don't pluck. That's the only advice I can give you guys. You just wanna release the arrow. You don't wanna jerk it because that's gonna cause your arrow to wobble upon release. So let's shoot some arrows. Yeah. Um, couple of things I was thinking of in that millisecond that I was shooting is aiming. Instinctive archery, we touched on it briefly a second ago, but ultimately, practice will help you figure out where to aim. And when I say practice, I mean adjusting towards where the arrow is at your anchor point, which is very, very critical when you're shooting a bow. You know, you wanna make sure you're always hitting that same anchor point. Second is the level of where you're pointing. So again, that's why I recommend gap shooting. Um, it helps you teach, it helps you like learn how to shoot at different distances before going into pure instinctive archery. Um, other than that, for actually aiming the arrow, uh, try, I just, I can't even give advice there. Like you really just need to practice. Like I don't even look at my arrow when I'm shooting. I just already kind of know based on, you know, where the target is, where I am. I don't even, it's hard to explain. Um, look up gap shooting though. It will give you a better idea and understanding of how to adjust your bow in relation to where the target is. So hope this helped you guys. I know a lot of y'all have been asking all the questions. So bye.